Helen here with Eyes on the Game here at American Top Team being joined by Dustin Poirier. Now you are fighting for the interim lightweight title against Max Holloway at UFC 236. Uh, I know it's kind of been a whirlwind of emotions. How do you feel? I feel good. I'm excited about the opportunity. Uh, training camp's going well. I've been here going on it's going to be 13 weeks by the time fight week gets here so everything's right on track now i do know that uh right before you were offered that fight uh were you kind of having some doubts though i just didn't know what was going to happen next it's just uncertainty and uh i felt like the division was at a standstill at the top and i just wanted a big fight so how relieved were you like what was your initial reaction when you got that call I was excited. I mean, I knew I was going to eventually make it to that point. I just didn't know it was going to come out of the blue like it did. Yeah, very well deserved as well. And it is a rematch against Max Holloway. You guys fought many years ago when he made his UFC debut. Um, obviously, a lot has happened since then. But how do you feel about that, this rematch? You know, it's a completely different fight. Nothing about the fight is, is the same. Yeah. Um, He's been looking great. He's looking like he's hitting the stride right now. Really, everything's coming together for him. He's a very well-rounded fighter at this point of his career, very confident and uh, very experienced. So it's going to be a very high-level fight. But what advantages do you think that you possess over him? Experience, power. Um, you know, you have to watch and see. Yeah. Any uh, surprises that you've been working on? It wouldn't be a surprise if I told you. Uh, no, not really. Just working on everything. Working on my jiu-jitsu, focused on my wrestling, my boxing. Obviously, Max has really, he's always had good kickboxing, but he's looked like he's really been focused on his boxing and his timing, yeah. his uh, awareness inside the pocket, his range. He, he's really, you know, impressed me his last few fights. Yeah. Now, what about him kind of moving back up to 155? I don't think he's fought 155 since he was, uh, you know. Yeah, a long time ago. Yeah, outside of the UFC. So, um, he's not a small guy. He's a big guy. He's taller than me. He's, uh, you know, I think he was having a lot of trouble getting down to 45. We might see the best Max we've ever seen. He might be the most comfortable he's ever been. I know he beats his body up to get down to 145. Mm -hmm. And winning the title, though, it is, you know, the interim title. Does that still have that same feeling, though? Yeah. Um, you know, we'll cross that bridge when we get there after this fight. I don't want to look too far into unifying the belts or what's next after this fight because all I'm really focused on is 25 minutes with one of the best in the world. And... Uh, but when I bring this belt home, you know, when I, when I get back to Louisiana, April 14th, this is going to be the real belt to me. Uh, you know, I owe it to myself and to my family, and I'm bringing the, this is gold I'm bringing home. And what would it mean for you to bring home this belt? It would mean everything to me. Um, it would prove my wife right from all these years of telling me that I was going to do it. It would uh, show me that all these years weren't done in vain. Uh, all this work and sacrifices over the last 12 years weren't done in vain. And, uh, you know, it, it's just what I've been working for for a long time. The reason I started fighting was to be the best in the world. And um, that's a huge leap towards that goal. And fighting for the belt, has that made training camp feel any different? Um, it's just put a different vibe into this camp. I'm always excited to fight. I'm always excited more so about the matchups I get. I want to have exciting fights and fights that I wake up every morning just pumped up to go train for. And this is one of them, but on top of that, it's for a world title. And uh, vibes are good, energy's good, my focus and motivation is good, my family is good. I'm just, this couldn't come at a more perfect time in my life. And ideally, how do you see this fight playing out? I, uh, I think I finished Max Holloway again. Um, seven years later, I do it again. I don't know if it's gonna be submission or knockout or what's gonna happen, but uh, I'm going to get gold, you know, one way or another. Yes. And also, though, uh, in the beginning, you did kind of mention the state of the lightweight division. Uh, so what are your thoughts kind of on Habib and also Connor and their suspensions? Like I said, I don't even look for it. I don't even look that far ahead. I'm focused on April 13th right now. And then uh, we'll see what's next after that. I just know as of right now. I'm not being punished for, for their actions. And before, I felt like I was being punished for their actions. So, it is, you know, in the words of Max Holloway, it is what it is. And uh, the division moves forward. What are your thoughts on Tony Ferguson? I hope he's okay. I hope his family's good. You know, I have a kid and uh, a wife, uh, as does Tony. I uh, hope everybody's safe. I hope he gets the help he needs. He's a great fighter. Um, and if he can, you know, he can overcome this and get back to the octagon and that'd be great for, for the fans and for his family. And, and I just really wish him the best.
And what do you want to say to all your fans who will be tuning in to watch you fight for the title um, on April 17th? It's been a long road. I appreciate all the support through the ups, the downs, but we made it. We're going to make it happen April 13th.